Awesome. Okay, I'm done sharing on my end. Um, are you still sharing? Uh, now so so far I cannot share the link from the Slack for. Oh. Yeah. So uh, my teammate, she's waiting for it too. She's waiting for you to share the link in your community, and then she can copy and uh, share in my community. It's already in my community. Uh, okay. Okay. Let me just double check. Yep, it's already in my community. And yeah, they can get it from Cookpad Malaysia as well. Okay, cool. Yeah. So now we are gonna wait uh, for uh, more people coming, joining and... Yeah, while waiting, we can like uh, maybe talk some introduction. Uh, can you uh, briefly um, tell the... the, the Maybe a bit of history or, or mm -hmm. about the, the dish. Yeah. Why why do you pick this dish out of like all the Vietnamese dish that we that you guys have? Yeah. Okay. Okay, cool. So the meal that I'm gonna make today named bánh xèo. Uh, oh, that's dish. how you pronounce it. Bánh bánh xèo. Bánh xèo. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and you know why we call that name? Actually, bánh means cake. Cake. Oh. Yes, and sell is. I think it's the name. It's the sound of the when we cook, we pour the 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 mix of the rice flour, the liquid. We oh. pour it in the high heat, so oh. it's gonna sell. Oh. <laughs> the name of the the yeah the reflection when we cook it. I see that's so cute. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's nice. so easy to remember, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. That, that's a really cute way of like naming something. I will yeah. remember, like, you know, if I, I have another baby, I, <laughs> I will name it like how, you know, it comes out. How <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can call it. <laughs> okay, so um, uh, we are... We are having right now in my uh, group, there's a few people, but we can uh, talk about like, um, I saw in your uh, story, there's a few that you say that different region. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I'm region. gonna talk about it now. Bánh yeah. xèo, why I choose this? Because bánh xèo is a very traditional meal of Vietnam. And in, you know, in Vietnam, we divided the country into three parts, mm. like the north, the middle, and the south. Mm. So every, sing, every given part, we have a different culture of food, of even the accent, the lifestyle, mm. everything totally different. Um, yeah, but in Bánh Xèo, in different regions, we have different way to cook. So that's why I, I mentioned in my recipe that some recipe ingredient can be optional. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for example, uh, we can put the egg inside the rice flour or somewhere they don't put egg and somewhere they don't, they put um, uh, some uh, mushroom instead of this. Yeah, you can, so you can change. It can be optional. Yeah, mushroom. Yeah, and as actually at the beginning when you invited me, I was thinking about like I, I was uh, confusing between bánh xèo and um, the other is like crab, but crab in the river, not in the ocean. Crab with cooked with tomato sauce and eat with noodle, rice noodle. Ah, okay. Yeah, names bún rio cu. Yeah, but actually at the at the time I was living in uh, Malaysia, I know it's quite a difficult to find the crab. Yeah, yeah. like crab in the river, not the, the small one. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, crab, yeah, yeah. So it's kind of difficult to find it. And yeah. I think this one is easier for you over there to find the ingredient. So that's yeah. why I do this one. And actually this one is, um, is it's healthy and it's tasty. Yeah, it is. It is super tasty, and uh, it's great that you are using like you know um like the ingredients that we normally have yeah uh, yeah available in the pantry because uh right now with the lockdown and everything uh, it's a bit 
hard to go out. So like even even like uh even if it's like seafood, they can still substitute it for like beef or, or chicken and yeah, it's, it's right. really it's really super good. I tried it and I I really absolutely love it. <laughs> Thank you. I'm happy when you like it. And actually, for the meat, you can change by uh, chicken or some pork or lamb. Even, yeah, you can all change by what you and your family like. Yeah. Mm. Also, like uh, just before we start, uh, can you like talk briefly about like how how you your cooking journey starts? Like like did you love cooking since you were young or? or you just, oh. It's gonna be, uh, I think, emotional story. <laughs> yeah, um, actually, I was born in the north of Vietnam, in the small city uh, in the north. So when I was born, like uh, my, I didn't uh, live with my parents. Mm. So yeah, so um, I live with, I grew up with my um, my grandparents, I and I actually at that time it was really really difficult childhood. Uh, my family wasn't have enough money for food. So my grandma and my grandpa have to work like really hard to take care of the big family. Actually, my grandma has uh, five children, uh, plus me. So can count like six and two of them, like eight people in the home family. Ooh. So um, it's quite a difficult and my grandma have to work really hard outside to make some money to support family and since i was like seven years old i learned how to cook to feed my family yeah 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 so that's why i uh, always like follow my grandma to go to the small local market and since that i know how to choose which one is a good and which one is not good which one is the right season which one is not yeah uh, i i observed how she cooked at the beginning mm. and so and then i just copy copy her and nothing is perfect at the beginning but i learned and i learned and uh since that time, I think like cooking like in my vein already. Mm -hmm. And when I, I'm happy when I cook, I'm, ha I'm really happy when I see my family after the long day walking outside, you know, and they come yeah. back to the home and they enjoy the food. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's a really touching story. It's great that you enjoyed. Like some people, like they, they, there are instances where they have to cook, but um you know it's it's something that they have to do to feed the family but they don't enjoy it so you know it's great that you actually enjoy cooking okay sure. let's start i'm just gonna because we have a few places to see um we are uh, i'm just checking out the comments we already okay. have the comments so you can start cooking now okay so actually the meal today i can i will divide it into three parts uh the first is the cake so the cake and the second is uh, the seafood inside the cake. And the last one is the sauce that we can dip with the cake after we've completed. And um, for the seafood, I'm using, uh, can you see clearly? Yeah. What is it? <laughs> can you see it, right? Okay, this is a um, squid. Yeah. I already um, prepare clean and yeah. And this is shrimp. So I use like 200 gram of sweet and 350 gram of shrimp because um, uh, today we're gonna have serve for four people. Yeah. And okay, I can start first with the rice cake. This is a 300 gram of rice flour. Okay. I'm gonna add in 600. 60 gram of um uh how I can call uh corn starch yeah mm, corn starch. 60 gram so I, I think I'm gonna move the camera a little bit so you can see yeah right so uh because I don't see the comments so if anyone have a question or something you just let me know okay yeah, I'm I'm trying to look for the comments because <laughs> we only shared it on uh community. 
uh, like uh, the the community group. So normally I can see all the comments from here, but uh, today specifically uh, I was sharing from the Cookpad page. So I was like, is it there or is it in the community? So uh, whenever there's a question. Uh, I will just like you know um bug you for a while and, and uh, let you know. Sure, sure. But, yeah, yeah, you just could. I love to share. I love sharing. <laughs> just add anything that you need to know. All right. So I'm gonna put uh, around 100 ml of coconut milk in here. All right. You know I'm feel I'm lucky because I'm living in Vietnam. We have everything. Everything in nature, and um, it's not um expensive as well, right? Over in Vietnam, like no, ingredient. it's not. You mean the ingredient? No, it's yeah. not. It's yeah. not. It's not. It's affordable, and this a uh, turmeric powder. This is for the color of the rice of the cake. So you uh, we don't put much, huh? Because when we put too much, it's gonna affect to the taste, and a little bit salt. I need like half of uh, moon coffee for salt. And then I'm gonna pour like 700 ml of water. And I mix all up together. Are, are you using, using like normal water or like um cold water or warm? No, it's just it's just normal water. It's normal water, okay. Yeah. Room temperature, yeah. And you know, actually, um, uh, the tip here that I already mentioned in the recipe. But before I forgot, but I should edit it. Then we add if we want the the rice cake more crisp, crispy. We can add like 100 ml of soda water. Do you add like the soda water on top of your water or do you reduce the amount of like um like uh, room temperature water? And yeah, yeah. so so you reduce like uh, 100 uh, ml of- Yes, yeah, exactly, exactly. Okay. I reduce, yeah. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna try the soda water. Yeah, you see? I finally found our live page. Uh, let me just read the comments here. Uh, Julia Alin said hi, and then uh, there is like okay. Oh, there's some. There's two. Is there? Hi two. Hi two. <laughs> <laughs> I've done one live with her before for like uh, the admin cook-offs. Oh, cool. Oh, uh, okay. Any more? I think this is from your uh, community. It's nice that this is the first time that we actually have like other communities joining us as well for the live. Usually oh, it's just for, yeah, it's usually um, Malaysian um, users who's watching. But this time, like, it's great that you also invited your um, your group to join. Yeah, so there's a lot of like um, comments that I can't pronounce. <laughs> that is from two. And then like... Um, what else? Uh, the ones that okay. Uh, they're they're all just like watching, looking at my props. So I, you know, I do videography and stuff, right? So I have a lot of props. So they're they're, they're like um <laughs> looking at the props. Oh. <laughs> oh, I really love your pictures. You have a really good talent in the taking photo. Oh, actually, our um our users have better pictures. They they're really really talented. If you go through Cookpad Malaysia's um yes 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 I can see it looks like magazine. Yes, I can see that. So I think it can be a good effect for your community too. Yeah, yeah. From from the pictures, so only the author can learn from this. Yeah, yeah. The anchor, the light, uh, everything. <laughs> Okay, now I'm gonna add on uh, 100 ml of soda water. Ta -da. I'm still gonna try the soda water. Yeah, if you want the, it, it depends on some people love to have a uh, soft, mm. soft and jelly uh, rice cake, but some people like me, I prefer like crispy. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, I think this uh, already done. Okay, I'm 
gonna put it over here and I prepare the, I'm gonna cook the shrimp and squid. Mm. Uh, actually last time when I post the recipe, I forget to put some onion. Oh, okay, so you put some onion as well. Yeah, uh, this is optional. So you can do or you can, you don't do it's fine. And even without the onions, it's so yummy already. Yeah, super yummy. <laughs> All right. Do you use this when you cook? <laughs> uh, some of us do. Yeah, some of this. Uh, and for some, some uh, what do you call that? Some recipes, we do use it. Oh. Probably in every household, we have at least one pair. Mm -mm. So this is oil. I will put your spoon of oil. You can see, right? Yep, yep. Yeah, right. When to it hot a bit. I think it's ready. Now I add the onion. That I already cut. How often do you make this? Like, is it uh, like an everyday thing, like every week, or is it just for special uh, occasion? Like, actually, a uh, bank sale is kind of like street food. Mm -hmm. Like before the COVID, like we have some restaurant and we can eat in the restaurant even on the street. It's okay. very street food. But now I you know own everything closed and uh, people have to stay home, so. This kind of option food that we can cook for family. Mm. Yeah, we can change at the main meal in a day. Oh, that's nice. Mm, I can smell it right now. <laughs> and then we add shrimp and squid. In Malaysia, people use uh, how often people use fish sauce? Sorry. In Malaysia, how often people use fish sauce? Um, because we are like, uh, we cook uh, Thai food often. Mm. We always cook Thai food uh, and Malaysian loves Thai food. So we always have fi uh, fish sauce. It's easy. Yeah. To and Chinese it. too. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Right, right. Yeah, it's a, <laughs> it's a uh, famous brand in Vietnam. Oh. Nam Ngu. Nam Ngu. Yeah. I've never Chisong. seen it before. We have one, it's it's actually fish sauce, but the picture is like a squid. So so we always uh -huh. like, you know, uh, joke about it. It's like, but is it squid? Because the picture is like squid, but it's actually fish sauce. You know, for for Vietnam, for Vietnamese, when we cook seafood, we cannot miss the fish sauce because uh -huh. all the taste go together, like the taste from the ocean, from the salty. Yeah. 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 So uh, I'm gonna add some uh, fish sauce. Yeah, here, but, uh, the, the umami taste. You need that taste yeah. from the sea. Look yummy now. Huh? Yeah, it looks so good from here. Mmm. With this step, we can cook high heat. <laughs> and now I'm going to add some uh, paper. You know, in Vietnam, we have uh, the best, I can say the best paper in the world. Mm -hmm. It's from Phu Quoc. Phu Quoc? Yeah, Phu Quoc is an island in the south of Vietnam. I see. It is like one, uh, not even one hour flight from Ho Chi Minh to Phu Quoc. And over there, they can grow like the best quality of paper and then which is we export so many. Okay. In the other country. Two, since two is online, <laughs> maybe two can like share the link for that. Like, so like our users can actually. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah big, share the link. Legends, they love links. Like anything they find interesting, they will ask, can you give me the link? Because <laughs> Now everyone's shopping online, right? So everyone's like, oh, oh yeah, yeah. Of course, I will buy the link and send it to you. 
Uh, and another like favorite uh, Malaysian um, comment is like Malaysian people don't sleep at midnight. <laughs> Just an info for you, Malaysian people don't sleep at midnight, especially the cook parties because we cooking some crap. <laughs> <laughs> I see. We, I was supposed to share that comment just now at the all hands meeting, but I totally forgot because like uh, I like I only had ten minutes, but uh, I was running uh, like uh, like I was running out of time. So there's a few things that I didn't share, like a cook pet passport, th those kind of initiatives. So there were a lot of things that I couldn't share, and also they were asking a lot of things as well during our meeting just now. So there were a lot of things that I couldn't share. But the community is very, very lively. And it's great that you guys are including like um, groups from your community as well to the uh, to this live show. Yeah, yeah, this is so cool. All right, it's already done. And I put it in the plate. Okay, now I wait for the pan uh, get down a little bit temperature. I put it in the other. Please. And I'm gonna prepare the fish sauce. I remember um, in your recipe you said that um, you know you you clean it with uh, you you clean the squid with uh, salt. Like some some users, especially those who've never like uh, cooked before, they wouldn't know why. Like, can you like maybe say why you do it? Uh, the fish sauce, right? No, the fish sauce. Uh, the the squid the squid uh, when you clean it right in your in your recipe you said that um you clean it with salt so like for us uh, in Malaysia we do that so that we can uh, get the moisture out like before cooking so uh, is the same thing with you i uh, know for me like i believe that when we use the salt to clean uh the meat not only the squid own kind of meat that i buy from market from supermarket i bring home and i always clean with the salt Ah, yeah, it's, it's for me, it's clean all of the bacteria and the dirty things from the surface of the meat. I see. Yeah, and then I re-wash uh, it again. Ah. So it's completely uh, clean. Yeah. Uh, okay, okay. Okay, I think I'll right. that as well. Because normally, like, I, I will use the salt, but uh, to get the juices out of the, the extra juices out of the squid. So... Yeah, I, I'll try that as well. It can be, it can be reasonable. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, for the fish sauce, now I have an empty bowl. Already prepared the garlic. I ground already, and the chili. Mm -hmm. uh, it depends on your family. If you can eat spicy, you put uh, two or three chili. Here, I put two. Okay. Yeah, because actually, uh, my uh, boyfriend, he... Uh, he, at the beginning, he cannot eat chili. Now I, he's living with me and he can eat so much chili, even more than me. <laughs> so you are using the small bird's eye chili, right? Not the big one. Yeah, the small one. I can show you. Hold up. Ah, the tip. Now for the COVID time, this is a really useful tip. I think that I learned and uh, you uh, you bought you buy the chili from the supermarket right and then you you remove the bottom the tail and then you mm -hmm. wash and then you let them dry you put in the box like it and you can hold it for a month oh so you don't put anything right you have to no. make it really really dry just like this you oh, can hold right. it for months yeah that's good always yeah. fresh that's so good yeah so i put two chilies this size I already ground and I prepared the lamb juice. Mm. Yeah, all right. These are uh, three lambs yet. Now I add chili and garlic. Most important thing, fish sauce again. <laughs> <laughs> so three spoon of fish sauce. Okay. And sugar. Mm. So sugar and lemon and fish sauce, they go really well together. One is salty, one is sour, and one is sweet. Yeah. Yes. 
they go so well together. And actually with this kind of sauce, you can eat with so many things. Like even yeah. with the spring rolls, um, with the deep fried spring roll and with the fresh spring roll. Yeah. Yeah. I, I normally buy it in a bottle. We always have it like in the supermarket in a bottle. But like making your sauce, right? Yesterday and I was trying it. And I was like, okay, I don't have to buy anymore because I can just easily make like how much like the portion that I need. And it's like amazing. So I actually like created a separate recipe just for that sauce because it was like so, so good. It's easy to make, right? Yeah, so easy. Oh. I, I have a mini chopper. I have like this tiny uh, mini chopper. So I just put everything like the lime juice, the fish yeah, yeah. sauce. I put it in the mini chopper and I just press and then it's done. Oh, wow, cool. I, I just add the sugar, three spoons of sugar. And now I add, I think I'm gonna need one, two, three, four, five, five spoons of um, lemon juice. And then I mix when all the ingredients go together. It looks so good. It's so easy. You can eat so many things with this. And even it is a salt that you can um, put top in the salad. Mm. You can use your different salad and you just make the salt and you put the salt in the salad. Mm. When it's done, I can add water. And it also depends on the flavor of your family. Like some family love um, more salty, some family love more sweet. Mm. It really depends. But I think this is perfect for my. Oh, so good. Yeah. So when you cook, you test? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm. Oh, I, I think I got a question um, before. Uh, they were saying that uh, if, let's say, the um, they don't have fish sauce, just, just in case, like just for the sauce, right? Mm. Are they able to um, use something else instead of fish sauce? Oh, or actually, I have like, I invite one of my friends. She's a vegan. She mm. came and she couldn't eat the fish sauce. So I make the soy sauce for her. Oh, so you can just use normal soy sauce? Yes. Soy, I, soy sauce. Soy sauce. Yeah, soy sauce. Yeah, we have a few types here. We have uh, one which is like a thick soy sauce. Uh, and then we have one which is like a thin one. Uh, the thin <laughs> one looks... Uh, the it looks um similar to the fish sauce so yes, the thin one like this yes okay okay yeah this is the the thin one yeah yeah so like uh so i'll just tell my community so kalau kora tak ada in your um area tak ada stock fish sauce boleh yeah. tukar dengan kicap cair so we call it a uh, kicap cair so it's it's the thin one the thin soy sauce <clears throat> Uh, watching the pan, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Because this is only the big pan that I have. <laughs> mm. All right, everything is ready. And I forget now uh, the carrot. Mm. That I, I make the small slide like this. And now we're going to put in here. Mm. So I've ready. never added carrot before in like any like dipping sauce and it's like I was so amazed how much it's like it, it tastes so nice in the dipping sauce and I was like I'm gonna put carrots in all my dipping sauce moving forward. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I'm happy. It's great that you learn all this like you know different cultures like different way of of cooking it, it yeah, kind yeah, of I'm lucky, I'm lucky. yeah because i was born in the north and then i grow up in the south and uh, i go back and forth so many times and yeah so i discover so many differences in different reasons in my in my company uh my uh, country nice nice 
And now I'm gonna dry the pan. You know, we actually we have to use like the high heat right here because oh. because we come back to the name of the dish. <laughs> 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 briefly, briefly, it's okay. We'll edit that part. <laughs> Another. <laughs> so it has to be high heat. Yeah, uh, because when we pour the the the, the mixture, liquid, this liquid, yeah, is will have the sound like sound because it's reflects with the heat of the pan. Do you put uh, like um, oil first before you uh, like, you know, put the, the liquid? Yes, of course. Okay, so you put oil first. Yeah, I prepare the oil over here. Mm. And I use it. Ah, okay, so you just brush oil on, on brush. the brush. That's fine. But you know, actually, uh, whenever they do, they have to do the trial for the first cake. Mm. Because the first cake, they I don't I don't understand why, but even in the restaurant, they always they always do like the first they cook the first one, but they remove it and they don't eat that one. Oh, okay. Yeah, maybe they try the quality of the cake. Mm. I've seen that somewhere before, but I can't remember where. Like they never use like the first like yeah. Yes. yeah. I, I uh, it's still the big question, but I, I will study. I will ask some uh, body about it, and if I have an uh, answer, I will let you know. Sure, but, that'd be great. I will share it to the community. Yeah, I will do the trial. So with this, we can see the quality of, of the tech. And then we remove it. You hear the sound like yeah. uh, <laughs> that's why we have a name of this one. Remove this. Push oil in the fan. I do the second one. Mm, you can hear the sound as soon as you. Oh. Yeah. You can see it, right? Yeah. Looks good. Beautiful. Yes, exactly. Now we reduce the heat. Huh? Now we reduce the heat. Okay, so after that you reduce the heat. Yes, we reduce the heat and we put the green bean. And then we add the stream and the octopus oh no sorry it's not octopus it's a sweet i love this um this recipe because like you know uh you can bite into the fresh uh sweet um bean sprout as well as the fresh uh scallions and it goes so well, like, you know, um, the texture with with the seafood inside. Wow. They seem go, seem go well together, though. Mm. And in the meantime, I uh, can prepare the plate. Here we go. I can tell you, uh, because uh, I couldn't find the banana leaf in the supermarket today. Oh. So the... My neighbor and I cut <laughs> oh, oh. Their permission, but I cut this uh, from my neighbor garden. I right. see. It looks so nice. <laughs> and do you use it in um, in Malaysia? Yes. In, right? 
we do we do we use it a lot oh cool. one of the things that we will have in our household and now i'm gonna repair this is like for the salad we can uh, juice with the normal salad like this cabbage or we can juice with the mustard greens oh okay you have it you have this right yeah we have it we have it this is uh, optional i actually have i bought salad like for for uh, to try this recipe but mm. then after i was like uh like cooking finish cooking and, and everything i actually forgot to put the salad so i can't wait to like cook again and like you know try it with the salad but honey you can actually try this one because when we roll the cake actually when we finish the cake we cut it right and then we roll we roll inside the leaf like this okay keep inside the fish sauce and we eat like that Oh, that's really nice. It's bigger than the normal salad, so it yeah, is yeah, yeah, yeah. And the test, oh my god! <laughs> okay, I should uh, prepare some. And I have some uh, coriander and basil over here. I should put it in the top. You see, with this kind of meal, we can eat a lot of green. No? You can eat it with a lot of. Sorry, you said you can be, be your voice uh, cut off this now. No, no, I mean with this kind of dish, we can eat a lot of uh, vegetable. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. So when you see the cake is kind of dry up. And we can see like um, the texture. So we know is that it's done. So you have and to see I that the layer is all dry. Yeah. It will look like this. Uh. Okay, so I think I will do uh, two pieces of cake mm, and yep. display in the um, in the plate. Yeah, yeah, I think that should be fine. Let yeah. me just scroll through and see if they have any questions about the, the recipe. Sure, sure. Uh, Let me know. Because it's so great. Because like um, we we have this type of of um cake, uh as well. Uh, but it's a bit more thicker. That's why when when um, when I was doing it right, uh, and I, I was like messaging you, it's like, is it supposed to be this thin? Because no, normally ours is like a bit um, you know um, a bit thick. The mm -hmm. the liquid is a bit thick. Yeah. So I think yeah, it's it's quite the same. It's just that I um the technique might be a bit different yeah yeah i think i think everyone's like um enjoying your your cooking and you, everyone if you have any questions just let me know yeah I'm happy. If like if if they have the, any questions after the uh, live cooking i will just ping you and um here we go this is the first one <laughs> i'm gonna do the second one What is the taste like? Um, have you tried the one with uh, the actual um, egg included as well? Uh, I did. Maybe I tried in the restaurant. Mm. Is it different? Like, is it like less crispy, or or it, it just tastes eggy, or it's softer? I think it's gonna be uh, the texture uh, also, but the taste is gonna be different. The mm -hmm. texture, I think, is like softer with the egg. Okay. Start with the egg and the taste, of course, it's eggy. <laughs> yeah, I'll try that as well. You should try. You should try. Hmm. Uh, do you remember when we do the the new uh, 
new round of rice cake, we need to mix it up because normally the the the, the flour is going to go to the bottom. Mm, okay. So we need oh, to yeah, remember. Okay, so we do it. Okay, so buat yang second uh, second time tu nak letak kena kuah dulu kena kacau sebab nanti tepung dia akan turun kat bawah kat dasar uh, mangkuk tu usually like how many pieces do like um, per person enjoy like um, one piece or two piece per person or three piece of the cake? Uh, for me, if I eat, I can eat two cakes. Okay. okay. For me, because I eat with a lot of vegetable. Mm. But uh, for like uh, for a man, for example, my boyfriend, he can eat easily like five cakes or six or yeah, like that. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Now we wait and we're going to put the cream in. Actually, yeah, you can use like a half of the carrot and you can add the carrot here also. Oh, okay. Yeah, it, the carrot is so nice. Yeah, you can add also the carrot in here. Add the string. So for your batter, um, I got a question like how many cakes can you make for your uh, current, like the ones that you're doing? Because it looks like a, a big bowl. Yeah, it's a lot. <laughs> so this one, with this one, I can make like around 10 cakes. 10 cakes, okay, 10, 10 cakes. I think it's enough for four people tonight. Yep, 10 cakes. Okay. Mm. 10 cakes. Okay, so I'm living in the big house, so I have my uh, flat mate too. So mm -hmm. it's... It, uh, opportunity that I can share the Vietnamese food with them. Yeah, that's nice. Thank you so much for for agreeing to this and and changing it last minute. So we are like everyone's like uh, really happy, and no worries. Yeah, no. I mean I'm happy too. I I need to cook anyway, so <laughs> I'm really happy. I mean like in the future we can do more things like this together. Yeah, we can. Yeah the community can can have more interaction together more yeah. know more about the food of the other country they could be happy yeah exactly because there are things like you know like uh, at this time we can't even travel but this is like sort of like when we're sharing our cultures we are we feel like you know we are traveling we are meeting new people uh -huh. so yeah. you know yeah. That's why we travel anyway to try new food to to connect with others you know to see other cultures yeah, yeah, right. So uh, after finish the second one, mm. I'm gonna show you how to eat this. Okay, okay. awesome. Awesome, <laughs> cannot wait. <laughs> Do you have a cat? Like, like um, we can like some of the users. Oh, sorry, that is our other admin, Rosita. She she's a cat lover, and she spotted your um cat tree behind. Oh yes, yes yes that one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna escape him outside of his room. So he's gonna go out. Okay. <laughs> Pobita, oh, come here, Pobita. Somebody asked about you. Yes. No, you see? Oh. Pobita. <laughs> he followed mommy 
all the time. I cannot hug him right now because I'm cooking. He's a, he got abandoned when he was just like a very, very infant cat. And uh, in the box with the four other cats. So I talked with Foster that I'm gonna, I'm gonna take care of, of him. Oh, that's so nice of you. <laughs> Hello, Bobita. What's, what's the name? Bobita. Sorry? Bobita. Bobita. It's a French name. Oh. It's really confusing because when I just uh, take him home and I thought he was a girl. And Bobita is a female name in France. So when he grow up, I found out some part of his body grow up, and then I know he's he's not a girl. <laughs> the name of the babita for the boy is babito. Oh okay. Because right now he get used to to know when I call him babita. He yeah yeah. So that's why I cannot change anymore. So now. <laughs> Job with the people that babita bede bede is a French word and also the Vietnamese word. Bede is a, I, you know the meaning of bede? No, no. Bede is um is a is not like a male or female. It's in the middle. I see. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> so I call him uh, babita bede. <laughs> It's almost done. All right, for a solving, um, I prepare like the small bowl like this, and I divided the fish sauce to the small bowl for each one. Oh, he's hungry. Oh. <laughs> he's, he's hungry all the day. Always asking about food. <laughs> I think because the owner cook like really good food, so he's always hungry. Nah, I'm not gonna spoil him. Like I, um, I feed him uh, the seed, the special seed for cat. Mm -hmm. In the weekend, I can do for him like a weekend cheat. I can uh, cook some chicken, some pate, mm -hmm. uh, some fish for him, but only in the weekend. Only on the weekend. Yeah. Okay. This is how we sew. Okay, I think it's done too. Oh, yum. Then, oh la la. Here we go. Oh, yummy. Yes. Okay. Now I'm gonna try it. It's still harder. See, you see when I, I add, actually I can see the difference now. When I add the, the soda water, you can see the crispy. You can listen to mm -hmm. the- Yeah, I can hear the crispiness. Yeah. Mm, it's really crispy. So I think next time when you do, you will remember to put a little bit in the 100 ml uh, water soda. Mm. Yep, I, I definitely get the soda water. <laughs> Actually, in Vietnam, we have the other tips, like we add the uh, beer, uh, 100 ml of beer or mm. water. But I think for your country, uh, water soda is more, yeah, it's, it's better. Okay. So this is a leaf. I'm going to use a scissor to cut to the small piece. All right. And now I start rolling. Oh. <laughs> you didn't know because last time I didn't mention about like we have to roll in the leaf, right? Mm -hmm. I didn't try like this. Okay, with some coriander and basil. And now we roll. 
See, it's, it's easy because this leaf is big. So we can easy to roll. Yeah, like this. And here's a fish sauce. Can I try? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I couldn't talk because like if I talk, the screen will go to my, my screen and I want them to see yours. Mm. Mm. I think this time is better than last time. And also with the with the mustard green leaf, this one really good. It's a bit spicy, so good. Okay, everybody's like enjoying like you know uh, how you eating it because like a lot of people just thought that you know you just uh, straight away just eat it yeah just dip it in the sauce because that's how we normally do it we just like dip it in the sauce and then we just like immediately eat it so now it's like um it reminds me of this one dish from korea where you have to put the beef uh, inside the leaf right and roll it yeah thank you yeah 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 it's kind of similar yeah yeah well done thank you so much <laughs> Thank you, thank you. It looks really, really delicious. Um, thank you so much for spending your time. Uh, I, I think you have to go back to cooking because there's a lot of people you have to feed and it's quite late already. So um, thank you. Uh, thank you for, for joining us uh, and showing us uh, live cooking today and uh, sharing your knowledge and your story. Um, anytime you need, uh, just just uh, let me know and, uh, and ping me. Uh, I'd love to do this and return the favor as well. Alright. Okay. Now I finish cooking, I can hug him. <laughs> Hello everyone. Thank you guys. Thank you so much for spending time with me. And it's my uh, really great opportunity, uh, my pleasure to uh, showing uh, just, uh, just a daily meal in my family to all of you. And I see like it's a really good opportunity for uh, Vietnam side and Malaysia side and even in the other countries to to us to know each other like a really close community know about each other first and we can share every moment in life it's not only about cooking also about the life story everything and I would love to do that so anytime I have a chance just let me know so I can join you guys sure sure that is really um this kind of you to offer like we will definitely take up on that because uh i think after the all hands today um i think we should do more of this because when when i was doing the uh, mexico live uh, previously uh i was like talking to lena and i was like saying we should do more cooking we haven't been doing that we, we we're doing so many things right uh we're trying to um, motivate our community and make everything fun but we haven't done much cooking. So this this is a great start. And uh, I'll definitely, you can definitely reach out to me anytime as well. Sure, sure, sure. Thank you, Emily. Thank you so much. And uh, thank you also to our viewers uh, for spending your, your dinner time and night time. Uh, uh, hope to see you guys again for the next episode. Thanks, Emily. Bye.